Hey internet, Eric here. Um, ready for my Sunday vlog. Um, not too much to say this week, but there is some cool things going on with me. Um, first off, I mentioned last week, um, I now work for a, um, work, not getting paid, but, um, I work for a website now called Dr. Carnage, and I was asked to do random horror movie reviews, what have you. Um, I've already got a couple um, pieces up. I have an introductory piece. And I have a review of the Anthony Hopkins film Magic, which is pretty trippy. It's, um, it's a movie from 1978 where basically Anthony Hopkins is a ventriloquist and his dummy talks to him type of thing. Um, really creepy, really fantastic, really good. Um, the main thing I want to talk about today in my vlog that's going on. Um, apparently, Robert Rodriguez has a channel called the El Rey Network. And I've heard of it because of he's got a TV series called From Dust Till Dawn, based on his movie. Um, Lucha Underground, the wrestling um, federation, um, plays on it all the time. But apparently, he also shows movies, you know, like The Terminator and kung fu flicks and all that shit and apparently they have a show where they discuss films but they use clips from youtube videos of people discussing the films and they throw them in there and i've mentioned before that i'm on a channel called whitey the white guy where me and my buddy whitey i play the role of cracker which is again why you have you see the name down at the bottom um, I don't know if it's here or here, depending on how I film it. Um, my YouTube handle is called Cracker. Um, he's Whitey, I'm Cracker. And we just, like, we're two white boys from the Midwest telling stories and reviewing movies. And apparently, um, Robert Rodriguez's uh, new uh, movie or theme for this thing that's going on is basically little monsters, i.e. gremlins, ghoulies, critters, um, the gate, what have you. And apparently, someone from the El Rey Network contacted Whitey about his and I's review of Critters. And this is fucking awesome. They asked us to submit the video. They wanted permission. And there's a chance, you know, we might be on fucking TV. You know, we might be on it for like two seconds. We might be on it for a minute. Who knows, but our shit's getting out there. And that is really fucking cool to me. It shows that someone's actually at least watching his channel. Now, on my channel, I also submitted my um, review of Gremlins to this contest because anybody can fucking submit. And it's really cool. It's really neat seeing that you can submit your stuff for approval to possibly get on TV. So, um, apparently, from what Whitey has told me, our critters... Um, review is in the editing room right now. Um, I just submitted um, my Gremlin uh, review today, so who knows. However, um, El Rey Network has tweeted me back when I said um, I submitted my Gremlins review, so who knows? Maybe I'll be on TV twice, and you know, someone will actually finally find out who I am and watch this shit. What have you. Other than that, there isn't, isn't really a hell of a lot of stuff going on. I mean, I already reviewed the Ghostbusters reboot trailer, and I thought I was pretty fair on that one. Check out the video. Um, they did release an international trailer, which they took out a lot of Leslie Jones stuff, which was great. But they added one Leslie Jones scene, which was horrible. So, I'm still torn. I think, you know, it could be fun, but Leslie Jones, man. Like I said, um, I've told my friends... Um, at work when we were discussing this. One of my friends saw it, two of my friends refused to watch the trailer, but I said if um, if the Ghostbusters reboot trailer, either the original or the um, international trailer, which has, you know, the different footage, if that was someone's face, Leslie Jones in both trailers would be like the canker sore that's like right here that, you know, every time you open your mouth it splits open and it causes you nothing but pain. Sorry, Leslie Jones, I'm trying to be fair, but man, you just, you just so grating here in this trailer. You could be great, you could be funny as shit in the movie, but I'll tell you what, right now, yeah, if you hear some noises, that's my kid upstairs and 
her mom trying to clean and basically it's mom cleaning and daughter's just making it 20 times worse. Anyways, <laughs> Leslie Jones. It's 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 basically Leslie Jones going on upstairs. So, um keeping it short and sweet. Um I'm thinking of I'm trying my best to get my channel to grow. Because I have 42 subscribers, but I know only roughly three or four people constantly watch my stuff. And I mean, I'm a fucking whore on Facebook and Twitter trying to, you know, get my stuff out there. No one watches or anything like that. So I'm thinking of changing my channel name um, to, make, to something somebody can find. Um, if anybody's got any idea, let me know. I mean, um, like, if people search Cracker, are they going to find fucking, you know, they're, they're, I'm trying to get people to find my channel, so if they're searching Cracker, they're going to get, like, Saltines or Ritz or I don't, none of that shit. I'm trying to think of something original. Um, I always start my videos with, hey, Internet, it's Eric. Is that a, is, would that be a good title? I don't know. I think it sounds fucking stupid, but to be honest, to get my um, product out there, I don't really care. I mean, if you see my other videos, you know I don't really give a shit about, you know, looking stupid. But, I'm going to hold off on that right now, because apparently my buddy Roger, who I've mentioned many times before, is doing something he calls Sunday Shoutouts. Um, where he, this man has got over 440 fucking subscribers. This dude is amazing with his channel. And if he's going to give me a Sunday Shoutout, and eventually, he already says he will, um... I can't fucking change my name now because what if I, you know, he says, hey, go check out my buddy Cracker's uh, um, channel and they ch they ch type it in and there's no Cracker and they're like, what the fuck's going on, Roger? So I'm going to wait until possibly I get a Sunday shout out, see if this works. But if it doesn't, does anyone have any ideas of how to get my fucking shit seen other than, you know, by my three subscribers? Anyway, that's it. i um, got to go do some laundry. Um, like normal, every time I'm doing a fucking vlog. But, um... There's a chance me and Whitey and just maybe me myself might be on uh, the L Ray Network discussing gremlins or critters. It's just too bad I don't get the fucking L Ray Network. Oh well. So, um, cheers. See you next week.